Hello, beautiful friends. Hope you're all doing well, beautiful family. Just felt a really strong nudge to share this message. You know that when I got my cowboy hat, I'm talking my shit. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just, we had our beautiful monthly Patreon meeting, which if you're not on that and you, you want to be a part of this community, I highly recommend it. Just the most beautiful, beautiful people that, you know, I could imagine coming together and just sharing. Oh, so grateful. But what I, I just wanted to share something that was a, is a theme for me, and I feel like it's a theme for a lot of people right now. Really quick, because my phone is at 10%, which if you know me, that's very on brand. Um, stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting yourself. Trust yourself. Let me tell you something that is truly mind-blowing to me is it's just really little I'm really saying it right now in myself and in others it's so crazy how when you make it in a when you make start to make this attempt to bring forth the most pure light within you purest light how could anyone attack it but for some reason when you bring forth this purest light within you the amount of opposition that you encounter is freaking crazy and that's how you know that the earth is a loony bin (laughs) you know just being funny I'm in a really silly mood right now but um yeah it's crazy whether it's uh other people or you know people that you know strangers or especially in here this is the one you really have to watch out for is your own um maybe negative thoughts or doubt um You know, I just, I just want to share this because I feel like there's a lot of people going through this, whatever it is for you, whatever you're bringing into this world, um, you know, you gotta, you really got to give yourself credit. You know, I feel like there's a lot of people like this. Um, you really have to give yourself credit because it's not easy. And for many of us, you know, on this awakening journey, we're kind of the first ones to be doing this. So, you know, of course you might feel kind of um, black sheets sometimes, but the core of this message is just to stand firm in your light and trust yourself. It's really, really, it's, it's just really crazy. As I was saying before, I guess that's really my main point is, um, and again, you can see it in yourself and I'm sure you can see it in other people as well. When you bring forth the most purest light within you, again, it's so pure. How could anyone hate on it? Well, it triggers people. And again, it triggers your own self. You know, it triggers your own ego. It triggers, you know, whatever doubts you may have. And the important note is when other people, you know, even if they're whatever, haters or they're jealous or envious um, or they don't even know, you know, we have to have so much compassion like I talk about. I think that's the number one thing on earth, really, is compassion for yourself first and for others um you know because people who will attack you for shining bright are very uh they're not happy you know so it's easy it's understandable to be upset but then when you kind of think about it for a minute you realize that um when people are attacking you you know for again shining your light um it's, it's a lot less to do with you and it's a lot more to do with them and what they're going through. And that goes for positive or negative. Uh, you know, whenever someone sees you and is inspired by you or on the other side, they're triggered by you, you're reflecting something to them about themselves. Again, whether it's something that's inspiring and they resonate with it or it's something that for whatever reason is triggering, you know? Um, And honestly, if we're, you know, if we're being honest, either one is a blessing, really, you know, um, you know, getting triggered doesn't feel that way, but if we can take responsibility, getting triggered is one of the most beautiful blessings. It sucks in the moment, but once you process it, that's when you realize, huh, you know, that's an area that I'm not loving myself, you know, and it's the same thing with other people. And, you know, I feel like we know this, but this is one of those things that I feel like um, people really need the reminder, especially really sensitive people. You know, um, I think we just live in this time where 
it's it's like especially the sensitive people it's like your light everyone's light is so needed and i and i'm sure everyone watching this is you know a a sensitive person you're here you know you have sensitivities to what's going on um your light is so important and so really this is just this is just an important message of encouragement and love encouragement having the courage takes a lot of courage it really does um yeah it takes a lot of courage to trust yourself and to stand in this light and to keep bringing it forth it's like you're birthing it out of your heart you know just bringing this light forth and not taking it personally when it triggers people um because again ultimately it's not personal again whether it's positive or negative you're when you're in your light you're you're a strong um you know, you're a point of light and you're also mirroring intensities that maybe not everybody is really used to. And again, that can kind of go both ways. But just, yeah, I think that's, 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 that's the message. Just don't doubt yourself. Don't take, um, don't take it personally because I'm telling you, and, and, you know, I think it's always harder to see it in yourself, anything, you know, it's easier to see it in other people, but you can see it in other people too. Um, even, you know, the most purest thing, how could anyone hate on that? How could anyone try to tear that person down? Whatever. Um, it's just crazy. I don't know why I want to share that. I hope that's helpful to people. Um, cause it, it kind of blows my mind continuously, continuously how, when you bring forth this light, it takes so much love and courage and endurance and stamina. It really does. I mean, that's why, you know, I made that video warriors of grace truly warrior spirit because it's just crazy how again you know you're going to kind of be so tested and having all these oppositional forces um again just for you trying to bring forth you that's really what it is just you trying to bring forth you you find at times in your life it provokes people and it's just like geez um it's just kind of how it is so i just want to encourage you to keep doing that just a reminder that don't take it personally. You know, if anything, again, it's normal, I think, to have that reaction because it doesn't feel good, you know, when somebody attacks you for that, especially when you are doing something purely out of uh, good intention and, and love. It's kind of like, whoa. But um, if you take a moment to feel that through, again, um, people's when people try to attack you, it really, really only hurts if there's still a part of you that has some kind of insecurity around that. So that's a blessing. If that happens, that's an opportunity to heal that part of yourself and realize, oh, I can love myself. I can trust in myself and where my heart, where my soul, where God is leading me, even though I might be seeing something that not everybody is seeing yet. What a gift that is to come deeper into your heart like that and trust that. I think that's some real mastery. Um, but when you, so when you allow that to process, you can, I think, have more compassion for people. Again, firstly, not taking it personal. And, you know, if you need to set a boundary, set a boundary. Um, and then secondly, I think it's really powerful if you can even extend compassion to that person. Because usually when, if someone is attacking you, for whatever reason it's it's probably out of jealousy or envy and we've all experienced envy it's not a good feeling you know if you feel it it feels so insidious it feels so shameful to feel that and when a lot of people feel it it's not even conscious to them and they just immediately go into this coping mechanism of trying to tear someone down um i don't know i just wanted to share that so that's, don't take that personally. I think that's just part of, um, you know, we kind of have to have thick skin here in a way. You know, but even though we are sensitive empaths, we kind of like, or maybe it's even that we're so soft that it just doesn't even hurt us, you know, or if it does, you know, you, you allow that part of yourself to be seen and, and, and loved again. And that's really the beauty of it. You know, that's kind of the beauty of evolution. So I hope this is helpful. You're beautiful you know we're also beautiful we all have this beautiful light in our hearts that that wants to come forward and it kind of needs to come forward if you're like me 
there's really no other way. It feels like if you don't bring this light forward, again, whatever that means for you, whatever you're doing in your life, that your heart is, is pulling you towards, it, it feels like you have to answer that call. That's how I feel. I know how that, that's how a lot of people feel. But that's what's crazy, though, is when you do that, um, you step up. And, and, yeah, there will be a lot. I, at some points, there will be just, like, crazy oppositional forces for whatever reason. Again, whether it's outside of you or your own head. Normally, if it's outside of you, it, it might even be just reflecting your stuff in your own head. Again, just learn from it, whatever you can. Don't take it personally. Um, because it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful, and that's the work. And, and the last thing I'll say on that note is when you do that, you know, despite the oppositional forces, you're going to be so guided. You know, you're so protected. This light inside of you is very, very intelligent. It knows what it's doing. It's you. You know, that's God. Um, so anything that's arising, you know, I think it's best to have the attitude of looking at it as a necessary challenge to help refine you because that's really what it is. It's happening for you. Even if it is kind of traumatic, you know, we are learning how to move through these types of things and use it for, for, our, for our greatest expansion and in turn for the greatest expansion of all of humanity. So it's so beautiful. Keep going. You know, I know it's hard sometimes, especially if you feel like, um, again, I just see it. I just, see, I just have seen it a lot lately. Again, like the, it's the purest thing. And, and there might, there's going to be, you know, there might be people that take it upon themselves, like probably unconsciously out of a jealousy to, to take that light down. And I just want to encourage you to, to not be discouraged by that. Don't doubt yourself. Trust yourself. Trust in what you're doing. And if you can, surround yourself with people who do see you, who do encourage you. I hope this is helpful. I could talk on this for a while, but just so much love to all of you. Keep bringing that light forth. I know it takes a lot of courage and strength, but you got it. Otherwise, you wouldn't even be here. That's how powerful you are. That's that warrior spirit. Any opposition, just let it refine you into an even stronger, more courageous, more compassionate, loving being. It's not personal. Nothing here is personal. Everything you do that gets a reaction in someone, again, positive or negative, it's a reflection of them to them. It's not personal. Love you all so much. Just, I hope you feel encouraged and just keep keep following that light because it is... It's, it's so needed. It's so beautiful to see it. It's, it's so powerful. All right. Have a beautiful day.